Hi YouTube, it's Allison here, also known as Lasan Faye, and I'm finally here with my June plan with me. Um, I'm so sorry, this is super, super late for me, um, but I've been sick, like, the last couple of days, and I'm, like, just now starting to get over it, and so my voice may sound a little rough still, but hopefully... Uh, it'll hold out through this video. So, um, I know a lot of the times I draw out my uh, monthly plan in front of you all. However, I've already set it up this month, and so I'm just going to go ahead, flip to May, let you all see what's there. Um, I have actually really not finished anything other than one task on my monthly task list, but I have been doing a lot this month um, involving uh, my research and other aspects of my life. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, so this is my typical setup uh, for those of you who are just seeing it for the first time. Um, I have my task list, I've started adding a waiting on list, and then I have a project timeline, so the days during the month where I can work on specific projects. And so, um, and then I have my YouTube schedule, and then I can jump in to my weeklies. And so my new weekly layout, which I just started at the end of April, I really, really love. Um, I like being able to split things apart like this. Um, there's still plenty of space for me to put all my appointments. Um, you know, I don't feel like these boxes, which sometimes don't get filled that much, aren't like being wasted as much anymore. And then I can start on my month. Um, I had some stickers from Once More With Love arrive. Super, super happy. By the way, Once More With Love, love your packaging. That was super cute, and I love the stickers. Um, and you may see a couple of them floating around in here. Uh, so that was the rest of the week. Um, sometimes this month I kind of like went off the deep end, didn't use this as much as I wanted to, and that's okay. Um, and then here I was flying out to see some family and that's where I was using some Once More With Love stickers. Um, this week I have my tasks all set up but definitely did not fill out this side. Um, and for those who are curious, this week seven up here, it's week seven of my spring term because uh, I'm on a quarter system and I just like tracking what week in term I'm in. And then this week, I actually didn't even put in my daily headers. In fact, I didn't even do every day. Um, once again, I like did, this looks like Monday and Wednesday. And I just, I was so busy and so stressed. And then I jumped to the weekend. And then I, on this blank page, I was just like, brain dump. I just, I need to get this stuff out of my head because it's clearly impacting me and not in a good way. And then another week, some more dailies. Um, this says day off here. And that was, um, I think last Friday even, right? Yeah, Friday the 27th. I got so sick. And instead of like trying to make a to-do list or anything like that, I was just like, you know what? I'm done, I, I need to sleep because I haven't been sleeping well, and that impacted my immune system, and I just got sick. So, took that day off. This day, uh, this page, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. Probably come back and brainstorm some things there. And then, this is some planning for my other YouTube channel that I have for gaming. This is this current week, which I didn't fill in as much as I wanted to. Sometimes I fill in after the fact just to get a grasp of what I have done. Um, but I am at least keeping up with my dailies. 
And because of this setup where I'm doing a page per day, I've actually set up my new month in the middle of the week, um, which is not something I've done before. However, uh, June 1st happened to fall on a Friday, which I usually put on this page um, or on this side of my bullet journal. And so I was like, you know what, here's a good place for me to input my new monthly. And no, I haven't filled anything out yet. That's for this evening because June starts tomorrow. And so, I again, I just use my usual setup. I kind of chose this brown color because it reminds me of sand. Um, and, you know, summer, beach, that, that totally makes sense. But this is pretty much the same. And the other thing I've done that I don't usually do, so I have Friday and weekend for the rest of the week, I've already gone ahead and set up my last two weeks of term. So week 10, um, which is our last week of classes, um, and I've already set up the dailies for that. And I'm part, I set up the dailies to help and serve some time later on. And then this is gonna be my finals week as spread and the dailies associated with that. And usually I don't set that up this far in advance. However, something I wanted to do was to create a summer overview. Um, so I've been talking a lot about school term and things like that. Uh, the thing is, is that I'm a PhD student and I am currently in the process of wrapping up my research and I'm gonna be focusing a lot on writing my dissertation uh, over the next school year and as a huge part of my summer. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a job at my university this summer. And so I lack the structure of having a job, um, but I know I will still have deadlines and such that I need to keep track of. And so that's what I've done these no next couple of spreads for, and I wanted to share them with you as well. And so this is kind of just my title page, and I'm gonna list out all the projects that I have for the summer here. Um, and then the next couple of pages, it's a bit of a future log in a way. However, um, more than likely, I'm going to retire this book at the end of June um, for the sake of starting a new book. And that video will be out um, mid-June is setting up the new one. But I've decided to kind of create this sort of structure so that way I can see everything all together all at once. Um, so any events I have on given days, um, all my due dates, so check-ins with my advisor uh, via email, um, application due dates, um, submission due dates, for things like conferences, uh, my YouTube schedule, because I, I do want to be better about posting videos, and I know I've like kind of disappeared this month, and that's because I was bogged down with everything else, and I, I wasn't planning appropriately. And so I've decided to input a section for YouTube and the YouTube videos I want to release on given days. And then this last column, I have it titled as gaming, and that's because I um, game regularly with my other friends, um, some, like spread all across the country. So I have like a D&D &D group, I have like an online um, co-op uh, game that I play with people, and I just, I wanna be tracking when I am supposed to be playing with them, uh, because we do have set schedules there. But at the same time, like if I have an event over here that I know is going to conflict with this, I, I need to be able to tell them in advance. And so that's why I've just decided, you know what, I need to see all of this on one page in one format so I can plan better to accommodate all these different aspects of my life. So... 
I have a page for June, July, and August. And that should be enough to reduce my stress on me for the rest of the month of June. Um, and like, I still have like a good chunk of September that's also part of my summer because my school doesn't start up again until the end of September. But that I think is actually gonna go into my next bullet journal. Um, Cause a lot of this obviously is for stuff that's beyond this one bullet journal, but I still wanted to have it around um, as a just in case because some of the stuff that's happening in July, I need to be prepping for in June and some of the stuff that will happen in August, I may also need to do like a few of the starting points in June. So I just want to have that information available to me whenever I'm going off and looking at this. So this may seem like really, really intense um, for how I usually plan, but I've decided this is what I need for this summer because it's been stressing me out um, having all these things in different places and then I'm not seeing the overlap. So yeah, so this is new and definitely when I film my July plan with me, I'll give you an update as to how this is working. Um, in fact, I may actually use this setup as my future log in my next bullet journal. Um, because the thing with the events uh, set up here is that my kind of vision for it is like some things I can just write out in a line, but I could also like take a couple of columns and use it as a Calidex um, and kind of go back and forth between them. But that's something I'm going to experiment with um, along the next couple of months. And... Yeah, so thank you so much for listening to me ramble for the last couple of minutes over how I'm planning. Um, and also, I want to give a huge shout out to all the people who've subscribed to me recently, because I know it's probably been, gosh, it has been a month since I last uploaded a video, and I really appreciate those of you who are still here, still supporting me. It means a whole lot. And I've finally broken 200 subscribers. <laughs> I'm super happy. Um, but yeah, so thank you again um, for supporting this channel and giving me the opportunity to talk to you all about how I plan and how my needs have changed. And who knows, maybe this will help you think about how you're planning and how your needs change over time and what you, give you some ideas on things you could do to accommodate that. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave this video here. I want you all to have a brilliant evening and have a wonderful month of June. And I will see you all in my next video. Until next time, bye.